I am Lisa and I go here to Glendale Community College and I am pursuing a degree in Digital Media Arts. Hola, soy Lisa. Estoy aquí estudiando en Glendale Community College haciendo una carrera en los artes gráficos. I chose to come here to Glendale Community College because um, ever since high school I've always had a love for art way before that actually and um, in high school I really really got involved in anything having to do with art whether it be advertising, fine arts, photography, media arts, anything I could get my hands on. I got into it and I really wanted to keep that going so I decided to come here to Glendale Community College because they had a really good digital media arts program and I liked what they had to show and I really loved what I'm doing here and I'm hoping to have a career in it. Pursuing my degree here at GCC has been a lot of hard work, but it's been really fun. Um, I love everything that I'm learning, and I love being able to see the work of my peers and be able to kind of compete with them a little and see what they do and enhance my own work. So I've definitely gotten a lot of real world experience here, um, working for real clients and doing internships. Um, I am currently doing an internship for the marketing department, and it's been very rewarding. I get to, you know, take what they give me and do what I can, but using their guidelines and doing what they tell me to. So it's definitely been challenging just having these guidelines that you have to, you know, do, but then also putting your own little twist on it. Um, I love being able to work on projects that are for actual clients because, you know, it's, it's real world and it's cool to see your stuff actually being used and it's really fun. After GCC, I plan on applying to universities in the art field. And I think that I'm definitely ready for that, especially because GCC has really helped me put together my portfolio and get, make it professional and make it look good. And so I think I'll be able to go on to a really good school after this. Any advice that I give for other students who are thinking about going into graphic design or art is start preparing now. Um, do as much as you can, not just in the one field that you want to do, but really get into a lot of um, any art topic that you can do, whether photography or a computer or actual painting or drawing, anything will help and practice, practice, practice. Hi, I'm Eric. I go to GCC and I'm studying for web development, graphic design, and animation. Well, when I was in high school, I took an HTML class where we just learned that how to code stuff on the computer and I got really interested and I thought it was really fascinating so that's what made me choose the type of major that I'm going for in GCC and so I'm learning about how to do animation and doing stuff with websites and it's just really interesting stuff and I'm learning all kinds of new stuff all the time and it's just really fun. I'm currently working on this one project for an internship, which is an on-campus internship for a Spanish class where the teacher would like to make his website, because it's an online class, to be more like a game. So what we're working on right now is having this type of wheel of a Mayan wheel, because he wants it to be like a Mayan theme, and we're just making it so the more, the more quizzes you take, you get to unlock more parts of this wheel, and it starts off all just grayed out, and the more, that, the more quizzes you take, the more colorful it'll become, so your reward is actually just like this fully colored wheel. It's just really good looking. Part of the circle that we're doing for the, for the Spanish class, we have right here where it comes in and it rotates and it shows and then the next part of the circle gets all colored in. So that's kind of like part of your reward. It's kind of like a, an experience bar that shows, or shows how much you've done. So once you've done four, you get this red part right here. And then once you've done eight, you get this part of the circle, and then 12, this one. And then once you're done with all the quizzes, though, you get a fully colored circle. And all these are buttons right here, which will lead to another, another quizzes. So this would be like quiz five, quiz six. And I'll show you the final version of it, which is right here. So it'll all come in. Sorry about the glitch, it's just a preview. That shows it's fully colored, and then it just shows what the full wheel looks like. And if you click on any of these, right now we just have it going to a sample website, but if you click it, it'll rotate, take you to the next quiz, and it'll expand. 
and then that'll take you to the next website. So after GCC, I plan on going to ASU to get my bachelor's degree and learn more about making websites and stuff like that and just refining my skills and hopefully get hired somewhere where I can even get even better at making websites and maybe eventually I will start freelancing on the side. Hello, my name is Jason and um, I'm here at GCC studying for a video production and technology degree. Um, I first got into video when I was about eight years old. Uh, my dad bought an um, old camcorder. It still took uh, uh, mini DVs, and uh, I loved that thing. I went around filming little movies here and there that were not that great, but I enjoyed it and I had a lot of laughs with it. Um, over time, I started to see that as not just a hobby, but a possible career choice. Uh, into high school, I um, took two semesters of a video class. I ended up being um, one of the head people doing the announcements my senior year. And um, that's about it. I really enjoy what I do, and I hope to pursue a career in it. Um, where I'm planning on going after I'm done here, I've been thinking about possibly transferring, um, going out and maybe getting a job. Uh, right now I actually work here at GCC um, doing uh, video production and technology um, assistant work. Uh, pretty much what I do is I help students to understand how to edit and how to get a lot of their projects done when the instructors aren't around to help them with that. <clears throat> if there's any advice I could give you, it's to train. Um, Definitely listening to your instructors, listening to your teachers, that's important in understanding it. The principles, what they're teaching is very important. But going out and doing it yourself is a lot more important, I'd say. Um, because you have to be able to hone your skills, understand your limitations, and to grow in that regard.